Hey, welcome back people, welcome back. We've got this Hyundai Tucson, I think it's called. We've also got plenty of Range Rovers. We've got a Bentley in as well. Seat doesn't move on that one. This one, but however, I've already taken this off, right? It's one nut here. So, one nut there. I'm hoping, I might not be early, but I'm hoping I can get in there. No, I've not got a torch, so I should get a torch. Hold on, we'll get the torch, right? There is a torch on the side of the toolbox, okay? See the place is needing a good old clean up, okay? I'm one man, okay? And uh, this is an actual garage. This is an actual garage. It's, it's not just YouTube videos, guys. I would love that. I would, but unfortunately, we don't make enough money on YouTube for that. Um, so if you want to hit that subscribe button, do me a massive favour. Go on, hit that subscribe. You know you want to. So down here we have the other end of that pipe. So I'm going to see if I can get it maybe uh, with the ratchet spanner. Um, get in there without taking all the bumper off and all that because it's a bit of pain in it. Take all the bumper off, I'll just one nut. Uh, but that's a motor trade sometimes, unfortunately. So we'll try and do it that way. Um, and then the lady says, the handbrake's not very good. I says, imagine that. Imagine that on one of these, eh? So there's how much aircon gas goes in it, eh? Tells you what uh, gas is in it, how many grams, plus or minus 620, uh, 625. Um, and this will be your PAG SAG639 or probably other equivalent oils um, to put in it. So, and really what you should be doing is taking that off and weighing it. Um, but leave that to the aircon guys it's no gas in it because that's how it came in with the pipe so we will get this pipe off now hopefully and then we'll get that Range Rover number three we have the Evoke uh, off the lift uh, we need to put that blue injector back in that one um, so we'll get that blue injector back in that Range Rover get that off the lift get this one on and we shall have a look at the handbrake which is probably seized up let's face it always the case with keys and the Hyundai's the part brake levers in Scotland, probably if they were in Spain, they'd probably be absolutely fine. Morocco, somewhere nice, LA, you know, Vegas, somewhere nice and hot, probably be no issues with the handbrake, but here in Scotland, certainly, this Range Rover I know as well, this other one here, that's been sat for a while, and moving about, everything's squeaking on it, so, yeah, we'll see if we can get the brakes working on this one again. Oh, I'll also need to clean, I'll see if I can get the you can see that's another thing it's got an alloy as well, like in Scotland, so we'll need to try and get that corrosion cleaned. Oh, the pipe might not seal there on it, no, the pipe will have new wings and stuff on it, so we'll need to make sure it's nice and clean. And then uh, we don't damage those seal spit in it. I don't know if that's going to be a good view for you guys or not, but let's just see. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Use the force, guys. Eh? Use the force. That's the way. The way of the Jedi. Okay, and then this is why the ladies love mechanics. Keep seeing these new videos. I'll probably drop this nut. This is the mission. Mission impossible. Don't drop the nut. Can I do it? Can I do it? The tension. Can you feel the tension? Hit that like and subscribe. And I won't drop it. You just never know, but what your fate's going to be with a six millimeter nut. Oh, oh, I'm caught on something else. The other pipe, the other pipe, nearly sabotaged it. But there we have it, and that's why the ladies love the mechanics. Good strength in the fingers. So you need to have that. Let's see if we can wiggle the pipe off. It's no rotted to death in here. I will need to try and give this a little clean. It's about a wee bit sticky in there. That is moving, but it's stuck on its wing. There we go. And you can see again, so I will need to try and get something to either we clean in there and get my finger in there and get just into that hole in there, so that's good. So I'll better get a wee bit of sandpaper in there and then I'll just get a wee rag with a wee bit of brake clean, give it a little clean. Oh, I'm going to take this jumper off and get a dirty. Expensive uh, floor cleaner, the brake cleaner. Oh, yeah, I can get in there good. 
Let's get a little wiggle, wiggle, jiggle. Let's try and get a little clean on that face as well. We want it to sit nice and flush so that it does seal properly. It has an aircon gas and it is pressurised, so it will need to be vac tested. Uh, so the problem with vacuum testing is, but what I've found is, is it pulls the joints tight. So if you've got a slack joint and you vacuum test it and you go fine and you put the gas in and then the customer's back and after a lucky a week, um, sometimes the next day going, it's not working anymore. And uh, what you find is, is it's not one of the joints has come slack or there's corrosion build up, especially in Scotland anyway. So we'll now try and get a right clean onto that. Uh, and then that's what happens, it just leaks, so I think for me possibly the best test would be a pressure test, not a nitrogen test. Uh, something that's ham not harmful to the atmosphere, I think that's why they use it. Don't shit me, I'm not. I have, to, I have done the HVAC courses twice now, but it's been a long time before I've done them. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's like my dad says, you know, half the time we've forgotten more than some people know in this trade um, because it is ever changing the motor trade. You know, it's always a struggle for diagnosis, especially when you're, you know, you're spending people's money, it's hard. So, definitely we'll need to leak check this, no point in paying for the gas and then finding that it's leaking. <laughs> No, because there's something else, maybe the condenser on this could be leaking as well. I know this pipe's burst. How it got burst is strange, it's half and two, it's like somebody's... Oh, well, look at it, it's like somebody has half that and two. No idea what's happened there. So, and uh, I think they've just taken it somewhere for an aircon gas. Um, and they said, uh, sorry, the pipe's sheared off it. So they brought it to me and I said, yeah, absolutely right. We'll replace that and then start afresh. So, right. I will get that cleaned up now, there's still a wee bit of corrosion on that. So I mean it's difficult. If this was Spain, LA, we would not have this. I mean look at the hose clamps. Oh rotten. So now a few years time, there's things like that will start bursting. Uh, end up with coolant leaks. That looks better. So I'll get some bike clean onto there. Onto my clean cleanish rag. Do a clean bit. Right, the rest of it's got dirty now, we're cleaning the other side. So, I'll try and get that out of there. <coughs> Don't want that getting in there. So, I should have been pretty bonging it to be honest. But, that's okay, I've cleaned it. I've cleaned it with my special rag. My world's most expensive brake cleaner. World's most expensive, but the best floor cleaner you can get. Right, I'll come back. We've all seen how, the, how we got it, so let's see if we can get it back on that way. harder now because the pipe is uh, all intact now so I might not actually even be able to see what I'm doing how can I do this? how can I do this? I don't want to drop in that don't want to drop in that This is difficult, this one, because the pipe is in the room now. But can I? He's making a bit of seeing because of my hand, my elbow. <sighs> Just take the bumper off? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Why is this dense, I tell you guys? No, I cannot reach it at the moment. 
So, new plan. Let's try and thread the needle. Again, come on, Let's make sure the pipes are going to be in. Right, ninja grip. I hadn't tightened up this other one yet, so I'm tightening this up now. So you won't be able to see where the paint mark is because it's a different pipe. So just go good and tight like that. So I've been doing this a long time, so I'm just going to use my judgment and then back into this boy way in here. So I'll just tighten that up now and I'll come back and we'll back on the back brakes. <laughs> 